Yo, what's up guys, Cody here, back at Sunny Video, and today's video, your boy is back with another King Legacy video. And in today's video, I'll be telling you guys which is the best fighting style in King Legacy. In total, there are 5 different fighting styles in the game, and those are Dragon Claw, Fishman Karate, Dark Leg, Electro, and also cyborg these are all the fighting cells which are currently in the game in this video i'll be talking about their damage their prices their combo potential and also a lot of different factors will be discussed in the video so make sure to watch till the end if you guys want to find out which is the best fighting style in king legacy and yes if you guys haven't already make sure to hit that like button and also make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're down there because i'm trying to get 10k subscribers before the end of the year and you guys know that is pretty pretty soon and yes let's not waste any more time let's get right into the video okay so first of all let's talk about the prices of all of these fighting styles okay so the cheapest fighting style in king legacy is for 150,000 belly and that is the dark leg and the second cheapest one is cyborg which is one of the best ones out there and that is for 1 million belly then there's another fighting style which is higher than that and that is the dragon claw which comes for 1.25 million and then higher than that we have the fishman karate which is for 1.5 million belly and then the last one which is the most expensive fighting style in king legacy which comes for a price of 3.5 million belly and also known as electro and that is all the prices of the fighting cells and i'll give you guys a sneak peek of the video one of the most cheapest fighting cells in the game is one of the best in king legacy so basically now i'll not waste any more time and let's just rank them properly because if we talk about them collectively a lot of facts will be missed and it will not be the correct answer that you guys are expecting so let's start off with the number five fighting style in king legacy and that is dragon claw in my opinion dragon claw is the worst fighting style in king legacy it has a weird move set and it's based on close range which is very bad for pvp as you guys know that a lot of your opponents will run around jump around and stuff like that and when you guys are using dark claw you will never land a hit so basically what's the point of using this fighting style so basically it's not good for pvp but in case if you guys are going for farming dragon claw is a pretty good one for that but there are better ones in the market and i would say do not waste your money on buying this fighting style but yes, if we talk about the combos, yes, this fighting style has a bit of combos, but to do them, you guys would need to have a stun type devil fruit, for example, ice or something like that. And as you guys know that landing a stunning ice move is really, really hard in a PvP match. So basically, there's no point in using this fighting style. So let's move on to the number four. So on the number four, we have the Fishman Karate. Fishman Karate is a pretty good fighting style, in my opinion, and can be used for a couple of different things. Its moves are pretty smooth, in my opinion, and can be used as short range and also long range it's a medium range type fighting style and i would say a lot of people can use it to its potential and deal a lot of damage if they want to this fighting style is also good for farming in my opinion because the cooldowns are very low on this fighting style and you guys can use them to deal damage and farm npcs really easily but the bad part about both of these fighting cells that i've talked about yet is their prices the fishman karate costs 1.5 million and the dragon claw costs 1.25 million yes it is expensive but if you guys are new to the game and you want to try out a fighting style you guys can go for one of them there is nothing else to talk about for fishman karate so let's just move on to the next fighting style the next one on my list is electro electro is one of my favorite fighting styles in king legacy it's a stun type fighting style as you guys would already know from the name it is really good for farming bosses and also farming in general but the only bad part about this fighting style is that its price is really really high it comes for a price tag of 3.5 million belly which is far higher than all the other fighting styles so if you guys are willing to pay a really high amount of belly for a fighting style then you guys should go for this one also this fighting style is a medium range one for example it's not like a short range one so you guys can use the moves a bit more frequently while pvping but i will suggest you guys to use a stun type double foot like ice if you guys are going for a pvp match okay so at number two we have dark leg yes you heard me right dark leg dark leg is one of the cheapest fighting styles in the game which comes for a price of 150 000 belly so basically it is a lot cheaper than all of the other fighting styles and a lot better than most of them in general 
if you guys have played blocks fruits most of you guys would already have played blocks fruits this fighting style is like the death step in that it's a really spammable type of a fighting style and a really good one in my opinion for farming i would recommend you guys to use this fighting style because it is really really good for that purpose and then for pvp same goes on but you guys do not actually need to use a stun type devil fruit but if you guys use one it is better for you because you guys can deal a lot more damage but yes i would rank this far higher than all of the ones that have ranked before um so it comes on number two then the last fighting style on the list we have is cyborg and it comes at number one in my video cyborg is a really fun type of a fighting style to use um it comes for a price tag of 1 million which is not even that expensive in my opinion it is the second cheapest fighting style in the game and i would say the best fighting style in the game and especially i like this fighting style for the move overload overload is a really op move in this fighting style and can be used for a bunch of purposes it's a really good farming type move and also a really good one for pvp if you guys hold it for a bit you guys can even one tap a guy whose level is 3200 so basically a max level guy can be one tapped by that move so you guys know how strong this is compared to the other fighting styles i've talked about also this fighting style has a lot of combos you guys can use it to its potential really really easily but for the fifth time i would recommend you guys to go for a stun type double food if you guys are using fighting styles for pvp because that will make your life a lot more easier so now you guys know which are the best fighting styles in general so yeah now that is out of the way but yes yeah, still dark leg is my favorite one out of all of these because you guys know it's like a pretty smooth type of a fighting style so for example you don't have to like do amazing combos or like you have to aim or you know stuff like that so like basically it's my favorite one out of all of them but still cyborg is the best one out of all of them now let's talk about a couple of different things and one of the ones i'm thinking about to tell you guys is that which fighting style is the best for farming in my opinion if you guys would ask me electro and cyborg are the best fighting style for farming because they have the capabilities of stunning your opponent and also dealing a lot of damage in a short period of time so if you guys are farming and stuff like that you guys should use both of these fighting styles to your advantage but yes a minute ago i just told you guys that for farming cyborg and electro is really good but i would say go for cyborg rather than electro because electro is 3.5 million and cyborg is 1 million you're better off going for the thing which is 1 million rather than 3.5 million so yeah just keep that in mind and make sure to go for that and if you talk about them for pvp i would say dark leg and cyborg are the ones to use for pvp as well because for pvp these are really really op and you guys can use them really really easily even if you guys do not have a lot of skill dark leg requires a bit of skill but if you guys know how to use it you guys will most likely win in a fight so yes that concludes the video i talked about everything i needed to talk about and uh, so yeah make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys would like because it will help me out a lot so yeah let's try to hit 10k subscribers before the end of the year and yes and yes that is it from me i'll see you guys in the next video peace